Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen innaka l'alimul hakim. Allahümme akrifna min zulumatil vahim ve akrimna bi nuril fahim ve fda'alina bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhil ahlakana bil hilm. Allahümme zıqni ni'matal ikhlas bi vecikil kerim bi kulli ma'akul ve bi kulli ma'afan. My topic today is a short talk about the reverse diastolic flow in renal artery and it is differential diagnosis. The reverse diastolic flow in renal artery is a fairly district, disc, descriptive and refers to retrig, retrograde flow in the renal artery during systole. Normally, it will not, there is no retrograde flow. That retrograde flow means a flow of the blood back toward the aorta during the diastole. And this seen on Doppler as Doppler ultrasound as signal observed as negative axis of the tracing, as we will see. Here, this is the normal segmental arterial waveform and renal artery. We see the risk systolic upstroke as we see here and systolic notch and normal resistive index in this patient. Here this is another normal arterial wave form in main renal artery here and here it is in interlobal artery and we see the upstroke and the diastolic flow or low resistant diastolic flow and there is nothing below the the baseline as we see here in this patient we see the systolic the systolic upstroke here and the diastolic flow is below the baseline and this we call it reverse diastolic flow in the artery. And Doppler can measure the flow collected in the positive axis represent the anti-grade here and the negative axis represent the retrograde to the flow to the water and the presence of this finding is quite abnormal and has significant pathway involving the renal system Normally, there is, as we said, as I said, there is no flow from the kidney due to during the stall. And the reverse the flow can include ischemia and damage of the involved kidney. What are the differential diagnoses? And the differential diagnosis of reverse the flow include renal vein thrombosis. Outflow can lead to increased pressure within the renal vasculature and ultimately this finding on the double ultrasound. Renal artery thrombosis, while more rare and it is possible thrombus that 
has formed directly in the renal artery is responsible for this finding. Very nephric fluid collection, like in hematoma, urinomas, lymphocele, can collect around the kidney and compress the renal vessels, uh, leading to reverse flow. Other external compression of the renal vessels can include any process that compress renal artery or renal vein. Clinical history and detailed history from the treating physician can differentiate the, the, the above four conditions. Thank you all for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.